All right, guys, we're going to make some uh, fried lobster coconut bites. Or fried coconut lobster bites. However you want to, however you want to put it. Well, first, Kamala, we go rustle up some lobster. Welcome back to Salty Lots. Your front row seat to extreme underwater diving adventure, spare fishing, and all things under the sea. We got the lobster tails and I'm gonna cut them up so we could do some um, fried, what did I tell y'all I was doing? Fried lobster tails. I had already cleaned this out pretty much. But anyway, we're taking them out completely out the tail. I had quite a few more of these, but you know, we gave away a few since I don't eat them, but you know, I wanted to do it for the catch and cook. I'm gonna take some of this red off. Hmm? The who? That's blood. Lobster blood. I mean, you ask, right? I don't know why you ask. I was just... So I should have lied. Okay, that's what you like to be lied to, huh? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Clearly you do, because you ask me a question, I answer you, and you're going to tell me I should not answer you. You're a woman, you see? Don't let me choke me alone. Tell them the truth and they don't want to hear it, eh? Huh? It be like that, right? Remove the red layer of skin on the lobster meat. This isn't a must, but it helps to improve the flavor. A 
Upon completion, I give the meat a final rinse. And then proceed to cut into bite-sized pieces. I tend to add a bit of all-purpose seasoning and some onion and garlic powder. We'll be using a total of three bowls, one with flour, the second is the batter, and the third bowl will have the coconut flakes and breadcrumbs. First, we coat the lobster in flour and then dip it into the batter. Lift and allow excess batter to drip off. Cover in the coconut breadcrumbs mixture and then place coated lobster on wax paper. If you're enjoying this video so far and would like to see more Catch and Cook videos, let me know by hitting that like button. Place breaded lobster in the fridge or freezer for approximately 15 minutes. This will help to prevent the coconut flakes from falling off during the frying process. So first, I'm gonna melt some butter. I got the pan over here ready warming up, ready for the uh, lobster that I just took out of the freezer. I put it in the freezer so that the coating on it can stick to it a little better and not fall off while it's frying. I got the people over here, they're already eating, but apparently they're still gonna eat lobster, so let's see. Yeah, I, just, I have five people my bite. Right. This thing was full me, I had restaurant. You had what? I have a lot of room. <laughs> you made room? <laughs> I have a lot of room. Feel me? Uh, you gotta come forth in your stomach. You so, we're gonna let this melt down and we're gonna get some um, coconut cream. Pina colada mix. Slash slash. <laughs> Go ahead and throw that in there. Let that melt down. Throw in the garlic that I didn't know I ran out of. Let that cook down with everything else. Once we get that nice and melted down, we're going to go ahead and spice up the thing <laughs> with some Malibu. Throw that in there. Let it cook down. Let everything, you know, combine together. That alcohol is going to burn off, so you're not going to get tipsy. <laughs> If you were my sister, you might get tipsy still. I might have been a little too liberal with the rum. <laughs> But well, we're gonna go ahead and let it cook. Let's see what happens. And melt down a little bit. If you don't say this? clap, don't clap. Need some more of that. Just that. That's a pina colada mix. Ooh. Help to thicken this up a little bit. Now let it cook down some more. 
It still tastes good, but I'm gonna go ahead and switch these out. She would put that over there. Well, it's fire over here, so we don't burn it up. It's time to get cut down a little bit more. Check on the sauce right quick. <laughs> So I put a, I put a little too much butter in here. That's why it's um spinning around like this and then thickening the way it was supposed to. I was a little too liberal with the butter. So the lobster is done and so is the sauce. We're going to sauce it up. Put it, can you see? Yeah. Should've there you go. Little, huh? Little you should have put a little, y'all drunkards. <laughs> <laughs> it has just the right amount of my level. <laughs> oh my God, that is great. Should have been a little bit thicker, but it's okay. The, the flavor is there and that's all that matters. That is all that matters. <laughs> That's all It'll I probably take it up a little bit more as it cools down. Hey, that's good enough. I ain't gonna care. Mm -hmm. The flavor is there already. The good. flavor is there. Mm -hmm. Guarantee it. Just the guarantee. That's all it is. That's all we needed. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring these lobster bites over here. Y'all see the sauce? Pull down my little pants. Trying to get in some sauce. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. You have to take a bite at the same time. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we will open our eyes at least. Damn! Yeah. <laughs> all the, all the eyes closed. Just hold on. Just hold on. Just, just, just mm -hmm. give us a second. We gotta get the full. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 The batter is mm -hmm. very, very, very good. Mm -hmm. Coconut with the buttery and the garlicky and the um, everything. Mm -hmm. It just matched. It was like the coconut butter, the coconut flakes. Mm -hmm. The taste. Lobster is fresh, you know, straight from the sea. Salty lobster. Get at it. <laughs> Get at it. Get at it. Get ready. Never gotta be ready. Woman. Mm -hmm. But this is good. This is this is no perfect entree. Right. Quick snack the, for the kids. The garlic is just a hit of uh, mm, the man, aroma. Then, like it's the extra. Get into the food network. The extra. Mm -hmm. The extra spice. There you go. No, this is this it's is fluffy. Better. I really like this. Yeah, they kind of puff up when you um, cook them. That's why I should mm -hmm. I should have cut them a little smaller. But they're meant to be bites. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
but I, I'm sure you guys are not complaining. About not, the size. not at all. What is you complain about? I'm just still trying to figure out, like, why it's so good. That sauce, though. It is. Mm. That sauce. No, the sauce. The, the sauce, sauce, is, the sauce is really making it. Without the sauce, but the sauce is, the sauce is giving that extra umph. Um, 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 um. Come here. I'd like some more sauce, please. That's what I'm gonna put on my um, coconut lime fish too. Mm-hmm. We ain't doing that tonight though, but. Mm -hmm. You gotta give her the peanut, um, the pecans, pecans. Mm. Pecan crusted. Mm-hmm. She will fall in love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Listen, mm -hmm. You heard it here first. I don't eat lobster, but they do, and they're loving it. Mm -hmm. Get the recipe. Pay attention, folks. Please. Mm -hmm. That's a good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good name. We need to give seminars or something. This is it's clean. <laughs> I was clean before I got my sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Click on the video above to join me on the full underwater lobster hunting adventure.